What's up, everybody? We're back. Uh, topic four of the week. If you like the content, go to Patreon. Do all the cool stuff. You already know what it is. Um, it's your boys. <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, I want to talk about Gage. Gage uh, is a keyword that was spoiled, pre-released, uh, alluded to during the uh, introduced, pre- introduced, previewed during the preview season of the newest set coming to UFS Seventh Cross. Seventh? And uh, we just didn't know what it did. We had cards that like reduced uh, gauge ratings. We had cards that increased gauge ratings. We yeah, had a bunch gauge of gauge six, gauge five. We had a bunch of cool, cool stuff, and nobody knew what it, what it did. And now we do. And it is. And I'm sorry. I I asked um uh Timmy two belts, which we're still gonna call him Timmy two belts. There's no way we can't. He's he's still earning the two belts. He right. still he I'm still glad owns two belts. He still owns yeah. two. He's still going to be carrying those around, and intimidating everybody. Actually, I don't think he is. I think he said <laughs> he said if 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 I got the third one, I'd I'd play it again. But if I didn't, okay. Um, Gage grants the ability E colon if this attack deals X or more damage, search your deck and discard pile for a character card that shares a name with your starting character and and, and or add okay. it. Sorry. To your staging area, X equals the rating of the uh, gauge keyword granting. Right. And it's still ability. there. And should not be there. Yeah. It's just or. Just or. Sure. Uh, well, and mint. You I can get it. Discard I hear what you're saying. I can put two. I, it's just one. Yeah. If yeah. you hit with a cool gauge attack and it does build currently printed damage, build a character from your deck or discard pile. Right. We have, I have played a, a seventh cross character with gauge attacks. You have played a seventh cross character with gauge attacks. Character. You have played a seventh cross character with gauge attacks. Yeah, you have played against three different seventh yeah. cross characters with gauge attacks. I sure have. Uh, two hours worth. <laughs> how is this mechanic? Is this a fun fair mechanic? The last mechanic that we got introduced into the game was EX, I believe. I believe that's true. I will do some research, but I believe that's true. Deadlock. I think that this mechanic, you know, no, being relatively, same set, same set. being relatively new, I think this mechanic's really cool. I do think. That it is a little absurd to just like fetch free cards out of your deck, though. Yes, especially because, in like, this game. That's I have to block. I have to like perfect block almost every attack, because like, uh, like, um, Tese gives like gauge one. Mm-hmm. Almost a- any attack is going to deal one damage unless you perfect block it. Yeah, totally. That's really annoying. And then like you it's have like a really good gauge two attack. Um, all of his attacks have sick nasty gauge stuff. Like yeah, seven low for two gauge two. What the fuck? Yeah. Um, if, I, if I wasn't playing Nightmare Tears, <laughs> I'd be getting messed up. I, I feel like, actually, um, gauge would have been cooler if the gauge number was higher than printed damage, you know? I, th- I feel like I feel like gauge would have been... Or like they just weren't on everything. Oh, no, no, no. I'm super down for that. I'm not. <laughs> well, I mean, Tell like, me why it's... Not. For, the, for the reason it says add from deck. Well, then you change the add from deck. Like, every... Well, they made it already. They can't just change it. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like, they, this, I guess is, could, this but like, is retroactively. You're you're designing these cards, James. I don't put I don't put them you're, on everything. Why not? You're printing character. You're printing for the same reason. I don't want s- ex and powerful on every. Well, here's card. the thing. You're printing an entire set that's designed around picking up characters. You have to have these gauge abilities. That's fine. I think every character should have like their ultra rush. Have one. They should have one other one that does it. Like almost every fucking attack in the set has gauge on it. Are you kidding? Yeah, that's actually not true. Like almost that's, every deck. No, no, no. That's so like has two cards that has three. I think. I think. I think every every car every character has at least one or one card that does not have a gauge on it. Yeah, sure. That's like almost every. If three out of four things, that's almost every. How do you feel about weapon in the last set? Not well. So the weapon doesn't do anything except unless you're playing a weapons package, which, which everybody was, which only two characters actually get to do. Okay. Which not characters, two symbols actually get to do. Yeah, totally. All chaos. Well, all chaos and death. And life, life. What's life yeah, going under to do with IV. weapons? What, what what are you comboing with with weapons? What they're just doing life weapon stuff. All the, IV stuff. So all they have weapons. weapon on it. Doesn't mean they're all, doing no, weapon no, no, stuff. No, 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 no. I hear what you're saying, but like all of all of all IV's of SoCal cards has said, weapon. If weapon, then this. No, they don't. Yes. It says if weapon or range, do this thing. Solid, but they weren't like. I. We'll we'll bring it back a little. You understand we'll exactly what I'm we'll saying. Bring it, we'll bring it back a little, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The only characters that get to play the get to play the weapon keyword are the characters that share deal res. You're right. Like you're right. It's the characters that actually we shouldn't do have printed any other weapon cards. Weapon. We shouldn't have printed other weapon cards. We've already printed the best weapon cards that's ever existed in the game. We've got hyper bomb. We've got hyper bomb and steel res in the game. It's, that's all we need. It's just all. Just, let's just play death. 
but it's all Death Order <laughs> and Chaos now, I guess. Yeah, has a, has their own weapon package. Fuck yeah, dude. They have a weapon package. That's Ooh. it. It's a, is it a big weapon package? For all, yes. Yes, yeah, a big <laughs> weapon package. Like they're the only symbols that actually do more than like a weapon in small deck? things with weapons. <laughs> Where does um, a cool weapon package in there too? What does Void? With what? Bishamon stuff. Anyway, Bishamon stuff. So, <laughs> Siegfried stuff. Solid. When Bishamon rotates, it doesn't do anything. I don't know. Until they print more weapon stuff. Yeah. But right now, they don't do anything. All right. Here's the... We are, we're not even talking we're about Gage anymore, about huh? We're not even talking about Gage. Tech might have been added after EX. Ooh. No, it would have been the same set. What? No. Bebop comes... Bo- not Bebop. Uh, Red Tech R- came out in Red Horizon. Red Horizon had EX. Did it? I believe so. I don't know if it had EX. So. Definitely EX came out in Street Fighter. You sure? Positive. Okay, then so EX would be the last okay, one. Street then Fighter. Then. X was the last one. So definitely EX then. Got it. I'm so good. So I'm the host. I'm the dean. Thank you. I couldn't quite reach it. <laughs> I was going to hurt <laughs> myself. Well, you'd be hitting um, your head if you tried. Here's, here's the thing. I think pulling anything out of deck is actually not fair in this game. I think one of the coolest things about UFS is that um, you are you play with a hand, you're dealt. Yes, you can draw cards, but we don't. Yeah, we fuck don't, you, Goro. <laughs> we don't. No, 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 but he pulled out a discard pile. He, he does not say search your deck to do this thing. The only character that I've ever seen do, do that is Yuri, right? Well, Yuri does it, and Hugo, an old character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who was like a what? A two hander or some shit? He was a three hander -hander for like 40 life. Yeah. Um, That you just like. Crazy. We have a four hander for 40 life. Power creep. Um, (laughs) But like, pull pull out of your. You search for three things for Pull out of your. That card was broke. Is not fun. The counter argument that I have is I feel that all of these gauge attacks should have actually just been mid. I think that would have been the the balancing act. You make them all mid so that you can block with a character and be fine. I think you can still have block everything. Seven low for two is not a fair mechanic, Tyler. We get it. You like Selenko. Sure. That's not fair. Then give on it minus turn... one damage. <laughs> there you did it. <laughs> oh, what? You're playing against this... <laughs> Use that new immortal this knowledge. Aaron Black out. deck that can give it minus seven damage, so you, you can only give it plus six. You can't do it. You can give it minus seven. You can only give it plus six. You can't do it, Tyler. I have been <laughs> called out on this podcast to just run more immortal knowledges. Yeah. To run more minus one damages. And Tyler, do, do you, I don't see the I'm fault in your logic, man. You. We're going to pull up the card. I agree. You. I agree. Where is it? Maybe that's, maybe that's it's just the play. Deck. Maybe. Do you think they did just reprint it? I it's going to be in the set for, it's going to be in this game forever. Now. No, that's not true. It's got the same watermark. <laughs> Excuse me, Mike. You have not been playing this game for very long, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you out of this yeah, small we're gonna, part I'm of the gonna conversation. Show you a card you, can, oh. you can play. Voices in the dark and Silver Foundation attack is minus one damage. Okay, yeah. I mean, so like, but, and this card counters fatality. It counters characters. Go ahead, <laughs> keep going. Yeah, I'm gonna shovel a character back in your deck so you can search out with Gage. Whatever. Um. So here's here's the thing. Can't get here. We go. Here's the thing. <laughs> here's the thing. Yeah. Do you feel like DR is going to make a comeback then? No. Yes. Do you feel damage reduction is going to to exist? I just got a no and a yes. Here it is. UFS use a uh, classic, famous debate Not between cousins. <laughs> Here it is. It's our new segment on our podcast where Tyler and James get mad at each other for about 10 minutes, and then Tyler ends up giving up because he's a nicer person. Tyler, hey! you, say, <laughs> oh my God. you say that DR is going to come back. I don't think it's necessarily going to come back. Is like this deck does that. This deck is just a DR deck. I think there is going to be... For my new kids, DR is damage reduction. Damage reduction, right. So like, Oh, thanks. Z- like Zangief. Really? I didn't know. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm Zan- new. <laughs> Zangief is a DR deck. DR. Right, that's all he does. He just reduces minus damage. Minus damage. Minus, minus, minus. I don't minus. think a deck is going to come back that exclusively does that, but I do think... I just imagined, so like, I wanted to make a shitty DDR joke, and I'm just imagining the red cyclone just fucking crushing it on the DDR mat. <laughs> just stomping through yeah, the just, just hitting the Breaking swipes, things. hitting the lariat, you know? <laughs> just going to town, man. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I I do think that, like, easy DR is going to be more thought about. Counterpoint. Like, I, I was never going to put I, 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 Immortal Knowledge in, my, in any of these decks. But like before, but now, like, well, 
Minus two damage because I have two out. Stops. I don't think it's going to like make like I, I actually agree with Tyler on this one. I don't think it's going to make a comeback like we wanted, but just because like these cards exist and these cards are the cards that we should have. Not like solid DR like, hey, I'm going to. Refusing to let go? Refusing to let go is a solid DR I've, as a unique, but having on like everything would be nuts. Like cards like um, Sealer of Evil, that card's like going to be a card. really good card that gets played. More than it than it does now. This card's gonna get more play and more knowledge. You're gonna make a comeback, I think. Last of his kind. Last of his kind. That's already getting played. Cards broke. Nuts. Like all these cards that just like, I'm gonna see if I can look up a bunch of them. But like, just get ignored because like they just don't do enough. Instead of that, could you actually look up all the gauge cards? Just look up every card that has gauge and tell me how many of them yeah, sure. increase their own damage. Yeah, sure. I don't yeah. think any of them do. I don't think so either. Which might be Speed. the way that you don't talk about my I know. So Slink has one. Yep, you, have to moon yeah, dance, you have to discard a momentum two. to damage for the amount of characters you have. It's her ability, but for discarding momentum instead of building one. Oh, yeah. I guess Selinka does increase damage on your gate attack, huh? Yeah. And gives plus two speed on everything. Yeah. Characters. I mean, Characters Selinka's, Selinka's the best gauge character. No, That's not true either. I think it's true. Uh, I think she's... Every time her gauge hits, she hits, she builds two. What sure. Do you, what do you mean? She's not like, the best. Like, purely gauge. Like, not best character with gauge, but like... Best character I that uses that, gauge. So whip crack. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because he Zolt's gives something attack. gauge one, which makes it very yeah. easy to build into your character. You but he needs once. that. You only do it yeah. once. Just because he's so weak. What do you mean you only do it once? It's a once per turn. That's fine. Well, I mean, like once per turn, I'm going to build turn. a character. Like my Slinka deck auto loses if you can stop me from building characters by turn three. Like it, it just can't do a single goddamn thing. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Zolt has one attack called Whip Crack that says, discard momentum. The next face of attack this turn gets plus two. Or minus two. So, you two. give it to another gauge attack. Yo. He might also be the best one because he can give his gauge attack. Oh, okay. Throw. This one has it too. Never mind. Discard momentum, draw one card. This so, he gives his gauge attack's one. throw and plus four damage. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's like. The, the, the Tortellini. Yeah, Tortellini. Tortellini. Tortoise in the hair. Tortellinus. Tortelloni. The werewolf. The Mad Hatter werewolf. He's a werewolf? Oh yeah, it does turn into a big, big beast guy. He's a big dog. He's a big bark, bark pupper. He's the um, bark, he's bark, the Basker bark. hound. Oh yeah, the hounds of uh, the hounds of uh, Baskerville. Yeah, duh. That's another character I want. Yeah, I really like that guy. Torlone. Yeah. I, I want. Uh, I wanted to make him, but man, I, I think I'm just play I'm Scorpion. Just Fuck it. Anything in this group, I guess. <laughs> um, his other ability oh, I is broke my pen. <laughs> his other ability is discard one momentum, draw one card. This tech gets plus one to his multiple rating and plus two damage. Don't give me that pen, Samantha Stevens. Put that cute dog. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to look up my, my damage now. I think Gage is really cool. I don't think it should search from deck. But that is a snap reaction to having played characters and not adapting to a meta, obviously. I'm very, once again, I'm very hesitant that I told this to the Jasko employees. I'm really scared that Gage is going to die out after this. I think one of the coolest things that they could do is just print a bunch of two-dot characters in the back of sets as the end of set cards. With 1-1? One, one. With 1-1, with one, one, which all the all two-dots should have had 1-1 one, one, except for Tese. And then uh, you just put Gage on a couple of cool things. Hey, uh, what's her name? Uh, has a 1-1. One, one. The Cheshire Cat's a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I know. And that's how they all should have been. So like you I shouldn't think, start as the monster so like form. It's not you got Dandy of the Seas. Yeah. After you block with it, you can start giving enhances as minus one damage. Oh okay. You got things like Forge to defeat evil. Okay. Did you just type in minus one damage. I typed in minus. Okay. Yeah, there's Mortal a mortal knowledge. There's definitely there are definitely answers for sure. Um, I'm just I'm just a little nervous that this. That it's going to be power cube cash grab. I just I'm just a little a little scared. I actually just don't think I don't think the set's as strong as we think it is. I think it's really I, cool. I think it's incredibly cool. I think it's one of the best design sets. Yes, that there is. I, I'll agree with that. I think it's really cool for what they're trying to do. Sam, I like. Can I have a pen? Throw it to me. Please don't hit the camera. Down. <clears throat> Talk. Um. <laughs> so I think a way to like balance it besides just searching your deck or discard is like maybe like scry like the top ten of like your deck. Well, like a, yeah, that would cool. be really rad. I feel like it'd and be then shuffle. Yeah, and then well yeah, then shuffle just because that's a lot of free knowledge. Well yeah, yeah but yeah. or if it was reveal. Um, <laughs> uh, I feel like ten might be too much, but I feel like, like fifteen is too many. Oh, um, you think 10 is too little, but 15 is too much? Yeah. Um, or maybe it could have been like, 
um, like gauge five. So like, look at the top like, ten cards ooh. of your deck, and then pick a character. So like double its gauge. So if you if you hit with X you damage, look at the top. Look X at X equals the gauge. X right? plus X. Yeah. So your your gauge. Uh, that rating. sounds right. The top I think gauge. it'd be really a little unfair with cards that stack, um, but I don't think we have anything necessarily except for like uh, looking or not fireball, uh, fireball as well as um, windmill punch that like hard stack from your discard pile. Mm-hmm. Um, but those cards but don't have gauge. I actually, li- I actually like that way better than. than Search your deck or discard pile. I, yeah. I think it should have yeah. just been discard. I agree, it, but the issue with I just, think that's just too slow for building the character. So it's it's too slow, and it really gives a, an inherent advantage to fire decks. Honestly, it's just like, hey, fire decks are the only ones that get the fire play gauge. good and uh, fire, fire fire good, good and earth, earth um, and maybe a little bit of all. All it's got some discard stuff. And so like these hmm. these four symbols get to play gauge, and nobody else does. Which is like how we felt with deadlock for the longest time. Which was just like, hey, good earth, um, water, water has some deadlock stuff, yeah. Maybe I don't know. Yeah, that's some. Um, yeah, yeah. I think that would have been a neat way to do gauge, but it's not. So get out there and adapt. Make sure I also you don't a think gauge is gonna be as strong either. I well, think it's gonna be really cool. But. It's gonna die on the vine, so of course not. <laughs> um, but Jasko, please prove me wrong. Um, so with that, thank you very much for watching this episode of Study Hall here on UFS University. Once again, if you like the content, uh, go to patreoncom slash University. Uh, subscribe to any of the tier levels. Get some free ex- exclusive content. Free. Exclusive content when you pay us money. <laughs> I can even <laughs> stop saying it. Um, uh, if you don't want to throw any bucks, that's totally chill. Now you can get the free stuff on YouTube uh, about a week later. So with that. That one's actually free. That one's actually free. No Because money. we don't make any money because YouTube changed their policies. Thanks, Logan Paul. Uh, with that, stay alert. Get alert. Bye.